What if you have a really hard time receiving? This can make it particularly challenging in business if you take those issues of, oh, I'm not comfortable with receiving into things like value exchanges with your clients. I can speak to this from personal experience because I have often found myself in those habits of people pleasing and being much, much, much more comfortable giving than receiving. But there's a problem with this because I don't know if you've noticed this. When I have difficulty receiving, it also really taints the giving. So in some cases with heart-centered entrepreneurs and people who serve, it looks something like not charging for their services or not charging enough and then becoming resentful, right? Because something about it just isn't right. I used to say that giving and receiving are two sides of the same coin. That when the giving and the receiving is pure, both are happening at once. So that if I were to give you a present, I'm also receiving the pleasure of being able to give it to you. You are receiving the, pre the present, but you're also giving that pleasure to me as a recipient. But yesterday I saw something about this that was a little bit different. I saw that while it's true that giving and receiving go together, it's not because of what I thought. It's because the story of giving and the story of receiving are completely made up. In other words, you make up whether it feels good to give, whether it feels good to receive. You're making it up with your thoughts about it. I met a man a month or so ago, and he told me, he said, I'm afraid to give because if I do, I think I will have nothing left. People will take everything from me. And I grew up with a feeling of if I receive, if I ask for what I want, then somehow I'm not doing my job. I'm letting people down. I'm being selfish. I don't know what it is. Neither of those is true. Neither is it true what I used to say, that when you give, you are also receiving. That isn't true either, unless we make it up as such. So I want to invite you to look at your own thinking about giving and receiving and just notice that you have it. And it's not true. There's only the physical exchange that actually exists. The meaning that you give to it is completely yours, completely separate from the actions that have occurred, whether you've provided a service and they have paid you for them or not. 